Hey everybody, Ryan from Android Calls. I'm here to show you the new feature that Lollipop brings into uh, called Smart Lock. And this Smart Lock is, makes a lot of sense. Um, personally, I'm not a big lock guy. Uh, my son is, is he likes putting his code in when he turns his phone on and he keeps telling me how much I need to do that. So I decided to play around with lock, the Smart Lock and get that going. The idea being is that lock it up as long as there's something that that I can around that I'm tr uh, not trusting or something I am trusting, don't put the lock on. And how we do that, if we go into the setting, we have to go down to security. And in security, we're gonna put in something called trusted agents. And the trusted agents is called smart lock. And make sure it's on. Once it's on, you'll now be able to see the smart lock features in the lock screen setting. So we go to the lock screen setting. Now, if we set it up to, I'm just gonna turn it off right now. So there's no security lock, or even if I put it on just swipe to unlock it, you'll see that the smart lock feature is turned off, right? So in order to get a smart lock feature turned on, I have to pick uh, something with a security. So like a knock code, a pattern, a pin code, right? I'm just making one up. I don't want to change my backup pin. Okay, so um, the idea being here is that smart lock will ask me, what do you want to trust? I can trust a face, so like face unlock. We could trust a place, so if I'm at work or if I'm at the office, don't lock it up. Or if I'm near a, a certain device, so like a, a Bluetooth headset or my G watch, or you can even set up an NFC tag. But I mean, the NFC tag, you still have to turn the screen on and then tap it, and then it would have to sort of read it. Uh, so it's just not just as fast to put a pin code in. So. The idea being here is that you can add it in. I've added my G watch. So the idea being is that now when I turn on the screen off, give it a second or so to lock, turn it back on, I can just swipe and it turns on. So that the weird part of me was the fact that if you turn the screen on, it still shows the lock. If I tap the lock, I can still punch my code, which I just got there. So. The thing is, if I turn off Bluetooth, so I'm not connected to my, my Bluetooth watch anymore, and I turn the screen off, turn it back on, sort of simulate, I can't swipe into it. I have to put in my code. Kind of cool. Um, that, you know, as long as my watch is within range of this phone, uh, I can don't have to worry about a security code. If I left it at, at, uh, at the office or I left it somewhere and I've walked away with it, somebody can't pick it up and you know start using it because they don't have the watch nearby they need to know my pin then so very cool anyways i hope you guys enjoy that